We know that phone cases are pretty tough, but are they tough enough to withstand an explosion? I'm Lexi Savides from CNET. And I'm Tori Belici from The Explosion Show. And today we're gonna be blowing some stuff up. Three, two, two one. one. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Now, Tori, you have probably what is one of the coolest jobs in the world as the host of The Explosion Show on the Science Channel. Tell me all about it. What do you guys do? So it's kind of like dirty jobs, but it's explosive jobs. So we just go around talking to people who work in uh, an industry where they're using explosives. And we're just having a blast. I mean, we're literally... Literally you know, having pun, a blast. Pun intended. <laughs> So what do you want to do today? You, you said you wanted to come up and blow some stuff up. Yes. Why? Okay, so phone cases are so tough. Like we torture test these and they survive drops from crazy amounts of height, like 20 feet plus. So we thought, well, how much further can we take it? Explosions, why not? So we want Let's to see, see if these are blast proof. Let's see if they're blast proof. So we've got three it. different cases at different price tiers. So first up is the Otterbox, it's one of our most expensive ones, it's the Defender. Then in the mid range is the Spigen Tough Armor. And at the lower end of the scale, the less expensive is the Pelican Rogue. So they're kind of different constructions. Take a feel, which one do you think is going to make and, it? And so you have real phones that they're we're going to be phones. putting up against our explosives. They're real phones. I mean, this one seems pretty tough. Mm -hmm. And you know, the issue is with, with shock waves, if it's a flexible material, it's probably going to do better against the explosive. Okay. If it's a rigid material, it's going to be taking all that you know energy. So my that is probably going to be on the cheaper one. Your money's on the cheaper one. That's kind of oh, where I'm at. I'm so intrigued. Okay, well, now we have our phone set up. I want you to tell me a little bit about the actual explosives. Like, what are we going to use on these? So we're going to be using cast boosters, about a quarter pound. Um, it'll give us a, a good wallop. But I think what we'll do is we'll start maybe at 15 feet and move them in incrementally until we get to a point where the phones fail. Exactly. We want to give them a finding chance because this isn't a scientific test and this is not a real world situation. <laughs> I just want to have some fun. You love this. I do. So we have our charge set. So mm -hmm. that's ground zero. Do you think they're going to survive? I think they have a good shot. This is a quarter pound of explosives. So for someone that has no idea about explosives, quantify that. Like how much force are we talking? The fact that we've laid the charge on top of the soil, we're not really going to be throwing any rocks or debris. So it's all shockwave. All right, JD, we are ready when you are. Oh, oh my God. I cannot believe, like, I felt that force, like, through my whole body. All right, so they're all standing. That's a good sign. Which is a good sign. That's a great sign. But wait, one of the cameras, oh. Oh, we have one, a, One's whoa. been shut off, the uh -oh. cheap one. The cheapy. We so, rolled all these. Oh, it recorded something. Huh. Oh, that oh. looks epic. Okay, but that. That's rad, okay. Yeah. But the phones all work. So wow. it did get some debris. I mean, a lot of debris from the ground is actually hitting the hitting cameras. Hitting the cases, but the blast wave itself didn't really seem to do much damage. I mean, right? all three phones seem to. They're all working, they're all working, fine. working still. So, they're all working fine. So should we move them closer? Yeah, we've got to take it closer. We just want to destroy these phones. No, I want to see <laughs> how far we can take them before something breaks. <laughs> all right. So to give these cases all a fighting chance in the next round, we're actually going to swap them out with brand new ones. So I'm going to take care of these two. Now, Tori, I want to challenge you. Oh, Can God. you swap this one out? See how easy it is for you. Well, I like, let's just do it so, at the same so time. So basically what you're saying is this is like child I just want to see. I just want to see how easy it is for you. Well, it's like a two part. Oh, he's it's, got it. It's like a two part. That took me like five minutes to work that out. Okay, like, 10 feet line. Okay, good luck. Good luck, little phones. <laughs> good luck, little phones. Good, good luck, good little luck, phones. Little phone. In three, three two, one. one. <laughs> I can never get used Isn't to that. Isn't that great? It's amazing. Oh, you feel the thump? Oh. All right, the moment of truth. <laughs> 
Oh, okay. Do we have any fallen soldiers? I think I see oh. two. Oh. However. Yeah, the two on the sides fell over. Well, maybe I just didn't put them in the dirt better enough. Like, you never know. The middle ones. Middle ones still recording. Yeah. Do we get the footage? I'm scrubbing through it now. <gasps> oh yeah. no. It, Did so, it fall over? No, nope, it, it fell over from the explosion. So there, there's the shot there. Yeah. It goes off. So as soon as the charge goes oh, off, yeah. it knocks the phone over. That's incredible. That's <laughs> Look at the, oh wow. Look at the dirt mounds. There. Yeah. That's crazy. So that is a lot of force yeah. that this is being subjected to. But let's look at the cases again. Like, there's, Can you see any damage to any of them? No. And the phones and the are still phones, working perfectly. Yeah, the phones are working good. Wow. I, think, I think we need to move it in closer. <sighs> I know. We gotta do it even five feet. Five feet. I feel like we're gonna really start to see some damage then. Five feet might just destroy these all together, which I'm okay with if you are. Look, we've paid for them, so. Well, let's let's move them <laughs> let's closer. Let's closer. We are ready. So ready. Three, two, one. What do you think? Do you, wow. think do you think the phone survived? That was a big blast. Like I could see the flash of light. That was intense. All right, let's go see how the phones oh, pair. All right. I see one oh, still, God, standing. still standing. Oh my goodness. Okay, so what we didn't tell you at home was that we actually moved them a little closer than five feet. We actually moved them to about three because they were doing so well. So we thought, well, let's see what would happen the closer we move it. But wow. we have. Wow. So they're still... They're still intact, it looks like. They all look like they survived. Okay, so this... This is still rolling. So is this one. Okay, so let's Look, I got that. the cameraman. Wow. <gasps> okay. So all of these have survived three feet away from the explosion. So let's have a look. So the little... Ki well, the kickstand just came out a little okay. bit, but it's still... It's fine. Wow. Damage-wise, they look pretty intact. Yeah, I think... We're gonna have to put. Oh, Except, wait, that was oh, cracked. We have a little bit of cracking in the camera module. Oh, and this is like the the big daddy. This is the big daddy of protection. So there's a little bit of a crack there in the camera module. Oh, that's rad. It's Can you see that? This, yeah. This one looks okay. There's obviously some should shrapnel we, and debris. We should clean them off. Should we pull them out really? of their cases? Yeah, let's see? pull them out. So what I noticed on this phone when I was trying to look at the footage is that it actually stopped recording as soon as the blast hit. So it basically goes white. <laughs> so if you hit play right up to the blast, and we're done. <laughs> so maybe the the force or the charge Shut it stopped off. it from yeah. recording. But the phone itself is still seems to work. And cosmetically, oh actually, now we take the case off. Let's look at the cosmetic damage <sighs> that we see here. Look at look that. Look at the crack. Big crack right there. And then there's a crack, is that? There's some damage there, yes, there is a crack there. And on That's the camera cool. module, yeah. But it's actually, though, if you oh. run, whoa, look That's at this a, one. That's a huge crack. And it's a big, but however, if you run your finger over it, it's all under the surface. So it's actually like the glass on top is fine. But, but guess the glass what? Underneath. The cheapy. Let's take it out. Let's take it out. There's, Do it with the honors. There's, look at this. This is the cheapest case, right? The cheapest case of the lot and arguably the one with the least amount of protection because it is just so flexible. Yep. No damage. <gasps> look at that. That's incredible. That looks like, once we rinse that off, <laughs> this is going to look like you. <gasps> wow. Look at that. So there you go. See? Sometimes it's better to go cheap. Sometimes. It is. That's incredible. Okay, so, but this is what you were thinking before. That that's the, crazy. The one that's the most flexible would be able to withstand the blast force more. Yeah, because it's not. It's it's absorbing all that yeah. shock wave. That's crazy. It worked. I like, know. This unbelievable. Protect. What the heck? Get the cheap one. The cheap one. There's like twenty dollar <laughs> case, probably less than that. That's crazy. What the? And the case itself is fine. You know what? I was actually concerned when you proposed this idea. I wasn't sure we were gonna get a definitive answer, but right? we did. We did. So I was scared that it was gonna be no result at all, and they would all be totally fine. 
or they would all be destroyed on the first blast. Yeah. But it actually looks like we got a really significant result and a difference in the result too. So the most expensive, we got a crack across there, the camera module, but the camera itself seems to be fine. The mid-range case, there was a big long crack down the back, yep. but again, camera still seems to be fine. And the cheap case, came out the best. See, yeah. No damage whatsoever. He had his See? money on the cheap case and yep. you were right. Yep. See? Amazing. Okay, so I do have a little anomaly. I feel like this phone has gone back in time. Why? What happened? Because it says, look at the time. It's literally 30 minutes late, uh, before the other two. What? I know. Wait, I know. wait a look, minute. Look, we time traveled. Okay, it's, so. It's like 30 minutes. It's 30 minutes slower. You no. just invented time travel. Just with a bomb blast. Turns out explosives. <laughs> You could be a, a time traveler. That's crazy. Doctor Who, eat your heart out. Seriously. <laughs> so I'm going to go clean this all off and all double right. check that everything works. But Tori, this has been an absolute blast. Uh, Sorry. Uh, liter I liter help it. Literally. Th literally. Thank a you for blast. coming out. I'm glad we got a result. I'm actually really surprised and Me happy too. at the same time. Me too. And when can we check out the explosion show? So the explosion show is going to be Wednesday nights uh, on Science Channel. We're blowing stuff up. Uh, if you like explosions, check it out. So it's been 24 hours after our explosion test and I wanted to do one final check to make sure that the phones were still working okay. And the visible cracks are there on these two phones. The camera module is a little bit beat up on both of them, but if you run your finger over the surface, it you can't feel it. It's simply underneath that glass. And I've tested the cameras on all of three and they're still working fine. So it does seem to be just a simple cosmetic issue on these two phones. However, on this phone, which was on the Pelican case, which was the least expensive case, it looks like brand new and all of them are still working fine, still take a charge, nothing has popped up so far so time may still prove that there might be something else but if anything changes I will let you know in the comments. Oh and that little time travel bug that we noticed as soon as we got it on Wi-Fi again it was fine, it synced and it's keeping the time perfectly. So that's been our explosion test, testing out some tough cases for the iPhone 11. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Big thanks to our bomb experts for helping us out and to the science channels, the explosion show. We had so much fun. Make sure to check it out. Two, one. <laughs> Try it again. Two, one.